Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schultz, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Today, Bob. Brad, we're going to talk about ankle braces. We're going to talk about some of the best ankle braces, depending on what position, you know, where you are in your ankle sprain. Right. Right. As far as your recovery. Right. And these three steps will help you get a fast return if you, you know, take these. You know, follow our advice, right? Right. Not only that, but after it is recovered, it's going to help maintain that it doesn't re-sprain again. Because just like uh, back problems, ankle sprains, and once you sprain your ankle once, you're more likely to sprain it again. It, you, the, the ligaments stretch, they stay a little bit stretched. Um, it's just the way that it is. That and also you lose your uh, position sense. Sure, uh, proprioception. And, and, and so you tend to turn your ankle easier. Mm. But we're getting off, off track here, Brad. So. Yeah. By the way, if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe mm -hmm. to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go over to the Facebook and like us because Brad and I really d desire to be liked. Yeah, like is a good thing. Yeah. I like to be liked. Wow. I'm going to introduce our sidekick here too, Brad. This is Alexa. This is the Echo Dot 2. I've been using uh, Alexa for about a year and a half at home. She, look at that. She's lighting up just when I talk about her. Alexa, tell us a joke. Alexa, tell us a joke. Why did Adele cross the road? To say hello from the other side. Bah. You, I bet you no, don't even understand that no, one, do no, you? No, Bob, let's get to the ankles, okay? That was Adele, the song. Say hello. She sings the song. You'd, never mind. People out there will know what it, yeah. what it is. I'm All out right. of that loop. All right, where are we at? Oh, ankle sprain, yeah. okay? The first thing you're gonna do with an ankle sprain, after you do it, you wanna protect it. Price, P-R-I-C-E, protect it, rest it, cold pack, compress, and we're gonna show you in just a little bit how to properly wrap an ankle with ACE wrap uh, so that you can put some compression on it so that it's gonna minimize the swelling. And, and support it. And support it, yep. right. So. And then elevate it, of course. Yep. Get it up in the air, let gravity help that. That's, uh, the basics. So, right. And oh. once you get past that phase where it's starting to get to the point where you can walk on it, maybe you've gone to the doctor, had x-rays to make sure it's not fractured, and you can start to put weight on it, then we want to continue bracing it so that you do not roll it again. And one of the, my favorite braces, and oh, I do think... Do we want to show how to wrap first, Brad? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate real quickly here how to wrap an ankle with an ace wrap, Brad. So you can actually... Um, and this is usually after an acute sprain, when you just just sprain the ankle, this is a good time to wrap it. It's um, sore, it's swollen, walking on it's painful, and you want to get that swelling out of the ankle and moving upwards. And you want to also give some support. To right. So you're giving right. those two things. Mm -hmm. Now you could actually leave the sock in place. Sure. You could also, most people probably take it off. Right. Um, so you're going to get, uh, you know, an ace wrap, and um, you're going to start by, you're going to put the, the, the the wrap right on top like this, and you're going towards the other foot. Right. So this is the starting point. You start on top of the foot, and the roll is going this way towards the inside. Right. And this is assuming the sprain was an inversion sprain. In other words, your ankle rolled in, yeah, which is it rolled in this, which is the, you know 90 percent of the sprains. It, right. So that's perfectly. exactly right. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna start. We're gonna again, and we're gonna give a little bit of stretch. Um, you want to have a, the, the, the wrap a little bit tighter on the end of the foot and loosen as it goes up because we're trying to push the fluid up into the body, right, up into right. the lymphatic system there. So. And, and then you're going to have the ankle, what we call in a neutral position. So it's not going to be pointed down like this, but more a right angle. Right. Yep. So, and that's how your foot is when you're standing on it. Right. So he, he's going to hold it in that position. I give it a little bit of stretch here. I'm going towards the other foot. I'm going around. Now I'm going to try to anchor this, so I'm going to go around twice to start off with. So in other words, it's, it's anchored, it won't slip and come loose when you continue. And now I cover up about half of the wrap. Right. And I'm going, I don't know if that makes sense, I'm, I'm covering up, there's, here's the wrap here, I'm covering up around half of it right. as so I go around. It's a half of a lap, I call it yeah. a half lap. So now I'm going to go up, I'm going to go up around, try to watch the wrinkles, and I'm going up around the ankle, this is a figure eight we call this. I'm going to come around the ankle. And right here, I'm going to give a little tug. Yeah, I'm going to show them this way, Bob. Yeah. You'll get those wrinkles out as we work with it, but I just want to show you how it, you get that figure eight motion on the dorsal or top part of the, the ankle. See, by giving it a little tug here, I'm keeping the ankle from turning in right. like this. This is how I hurt it. 
So I'm giving it a tug to pull it that way a little right. bit. Not a real hard one, just yep. some snugness. Again, a little tighter down here maybe, and then I get up here, I'm a little bit looser. And I keep working my way down. Oh, Bob, you're doing a nice job. And right, Can oh, you, I missed my tug. Right here, I get, yep, I get a little, little tug. tug there. And then come back up again here. Athletic trainers are really good at this. If you see someone, that, a good athletic trainer, they can do this so fast, it's amazing. And they're, they're often going to do it with athletic tape, too. Yep. Um, yep. This is with the ace wrap that you can reuse right. each time. And if you're and doing it at home and it gets a little confusing, don't worry about it. You know, just keep practicing, uh, and uh, it'll get better with time. Yeah, when it's all said and done, you know, you tape it in place, you put the little clip in place. Right. Um, the thing that you want to make sure is that it's not so tight that you're going to have numbness or tingling. Mm. Or it should be comfortable. Right. If it's too tight, you have to take it off and redo it. If, if your toes are becoming blue, right. you know it's That's a bad too sign tight. Too, so. You do not want to have it too tight. All right, we'll go on now, Brad, and show the other braces. You bet. Because, yeah, once this gets done and starts feeling better, you can start to put weight on it. Then the next brace brings us into that phase. Phase, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that you've, you know, you passed the wrapping phase now, you want to go into a phase where you don't have to wrap it anymore. What, where are we at now, Brad? So we're actually walking on it. It doesn't hurt very much to walk, but it's still not stable, and you still feel a little uh, queasy walking on it, particularly on unstable ground. If you're on the flat, it's better, but you go outside on the grass, and you're really afraid, and it, it tweaks a little bit. It hurts. Uh, so you want a little support, and this is the... the uh, these air cast braces that have bubbles in here, they're like little bladders of air. They're yeah, one of... These are, I like these at this phase. These aren't, I, I wouldn't like these for going back to sports. No, um, no. It's, it's very rigid. Um, and it used to be that they have two air bladders on each side. And it used to be, and maybe some of them still have this, Brad, but you used to be able to adjust the air in them. The air pressure, uh, yeah. The air pressure. Just by blowing in it with a little tube. Right. Yep. And, and maybe some of them are that way. Uh, this one is not. Yep. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll have to make sure. We have a list down below of products that Brad and I love. Uh, we'll have to, I'll have to make sure these braces are in there. And uh, uh, also, I'm sure you're going to want to get one of the Echo Dot 2s after that fine performance. Yeah. We're trying to replace <laughs> Brad, by the way, with right. these things. So. so you can see with this, it offers lateral support. Almost all ankle sprains are from when they roll inwards like this. So that offers support that way. And it really feels good. I have so many patients that they just like the feel of how this feels on their ankle. It makes them feel more stable. And it does offer some stability. I've even used this with people with, um, well, stroke. Right. And I've also mm -hmm. used it with people who have arthritis in their sure. ankle. Sure. So. And this allows this motion. So yeah, that, you still got that motion. Right, which you have to have to walk properly. Um, now, there's exercises that are going to go along with that. We didn't want to introduce those into this video just because uh, for time factor, but we do have some excellent videos on uh, strengthening um, and range of motion for an ankle yeah, sprain. Right, can, after an ankle injury. Right, just injury. Google that on Bob and Brad. Uh, so this is phase two. Once you get to the point where you can start to run on it, it's stronger, then we need to go to the final phase, the, the ankle brace that's going to offer a lot of stability and a lot of motion and it'll fit inside a shoe so you can go back to your sport with that good stability. Yeah, we're a big fan of this brace. It, it works well with, with athletes and uh, um, I mean as the other alternative is you can keep wrapping it. With ta you can keep taping it. You can oh, tape right. it for every yep. event. Yep. But if you don't want to go through that hassle, if you want to uh, throw a brace on there, um, I, I think because they have found I think Brad that bracing and wrapping is about equal as far as support sure. the studies have. so I like these because uh, they work so well, to be honest with you. I've had patients uh, wear them. Uh, my daughter wore them for basketball for four years in high school. This happens to be my personal brace. I've sprained my ankle three times as a runner, and uh, I just use this on the rehab, and it really works well, well for running. It fits really well, doesn't yep. it, Brad? <laughs> well, I could have. <laughs> he it, didn't have it loosened up as I, much as I, I didn't want to take the time, but you'll see. It's made of, this is an ASO, capital ASO. Is Ankle stabilor, Stabilizing Orthosis, right? Yep, that's what it stands for. And uh, the nice thing about it is you can really, it feels so nice and it really supports well with the uh, shoestrings, as you can see I'm doing here. So it's got two forms of uh, support. It's got the actual shoestrings. Right, right? W which gives you a, a total support, gives you some compression, and it wraps and stabilizes the whole ankle. But... Uh, as we know, 
we want to stabilize the direction that it actually was injured. Right. So if it went inwards or inverted. Yeah, most ankle brace, um, ankle injuries occur this way. You right. turn your ankle yep. this way and you sprain it on the outside. The pain is out here. I, I, Lonnie's okay. probably not even looking at me. We, the, yeah. the pain is out here mm -hmm. and uh, you're trying to prevent the ankle from turning that way again. So we take the straps here and we're gonna do a, a figure eight over right over the laces. Okay, I'm going to put the one, because I want to stabilize this one mostly, I'm gonna take the one that goes over the top, under the foot, and over here. Now this one, I'm not gonna pull, it's got little finger uh, holds right there, loops so that you can pull and really get some good support, and then it's Velcro. This one, I'm just gonna snug, not tight, and there we go. You don't wanna tighten it into the direction that you actually injured it. Correct. This so, is the one that really, th this is where the, you get your bang for your buck. This is where the magic yeah. ha happens. And it feels good. You, you can go like this, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it, position it right where it feels good. I'm going to pull up, and you can see it everting my ankle slightly. Then I'm going to Velcro it on, and then they have the secondary Velcro strap to really help it out, and you pull that around to wrap it all up in one spot. And then you can put it into your shoe, whether you're playing soccer, running, whatever it is. Yeah, this really doesn't take up much space, does it? No, I mean, no. this will fit into most, you know, if you fit into a shoe before, it normally will fit yeah. into a shoe. If, if, as long as it's a lace up, which almost all athletic shoes are, uh, it's a wonderful brace. Yeah, this brace has been around a long time. Right. I mean, and I, I really haven't seen any improvements on it. I mean, they, they, you know, I mean, they, I, I don't see another brace coming along that's been better. Right, right. right. Um, so. I have uh, my patients as well as as well as my daughter. Once they got into the phase, they could return, use it, even when their ankle feels 100%. You know, this is one of those maybe controversial, but I say continue to wear it. It when is you, controversial, when Brad. There, the there's a lot of discussion on that. I mean, if I think if you go through enough rehab and you get your your proprioception back, and yeah. I I wouldn't recommend. Well, what um, happened? What happened with my daughter? She sprained it a second time. Oh, then then, then it was like uh, just yeah. wear it all the time. You're out there yeah. playing playing ball. I agree. Uh, <laughs> I agree. Once once you get to that point, then because yeah. then, you, then you're worrying about right. uh, severe sprains yep. and stuff like that. So. so there you go. Ankle braces in a nutshell, from A all to right. B. Or Alexa. She. Oh. Who's your daddy? I was made by a team of inventors at Amazon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. He that's gonna replace Brad someday, I can tell you. All right, thanks everybody for watching. <laughs>